Hi everybody, welcome back. So I have another fun, really quick and like fussy free um, Valentine's project for you. So this is so easy, but I feel like the best part is just a little bit of what's in the album to make it a little bit different. It's just a pretty basic album and I just added some fun little flips. I thought it made this so pretty when you open it up with the string. And I've created this fun little like vellum like front pocket if you want to make it. And then when you open the pages, there's these cute little vellum pockets I added in here. I had saw like this rear, oh, I'm sorry, rear, reel on Instagram that they were using for like a junk journal with an envelope. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to make like my own without an envelope. So I did this. You could see, um, you could put this on the outside or the inside. And then just like a little, you know, booklet page. So easy, but you know, just fun and something really quick to do. So this should take us minutes to make. You don't need double-sided paper. I am using double-sided paper today. All right, so we're gonna just start with the outside cover. Um, and by the way, today's a snow day, so it's like the most prettiest little scenery outside for this. Okay, so anyway, the cover is going to be four inches by seven and three quarters, okay? Now, um, our scoring is going to be pretty simple. At the seven and three quarter mark, we're going to score it at three, three and a quarter, six and a quarter, six and a half. So I'll keep that right there for you guys. So three, three and a quarter, um, six and a quarter, and six and a half. Pretty simple, easy cover. I'm so sorry, I've been wanting to upload, but honestly, I was so, I don't know, something about snow days make you really lazy. <laughs> so let me go ahead and fold these in. I thought like, I was like, all right, I'm gonna get snowed in and I'm gonna like craft. No, what happened was I sn got snowed in and I sat on my couch, which I don't usually do. I don't really like go on the couch until the end of the night. Okay, and my son is at the neighbors and they're like playing in the snow and it's so cold. Don't you remember just like, I don't know if you grew up in the snow, you kind of just remember playing in it and having so much fun, but as an adult, you're like, I'm staying in. So <laughs> when you do these, um, you'll see just your simple cover. We've kind of done something like this, but with cardstock and covered it. This is kind of just like easier, um, you know, just to have a cover without the cardstock. Okay, so next, we're, we're gonna go ahead and just do this simple little side page right here. I'm just going to bust out my scoreboard again. And that is, this strip is just going to be two and three quarters by 12 inches. And then at the 12 inch score, we're just going to score it at four and eight inches. Okay, so four and eight. Okay, and let me see how I want mine. So I'm just gonna fold this real quick. So I'm gonna fold mine this way and this way. I have this part down, so it's just gonna go like this. And you could add like your photos in it. Like my son, for the holiday, he got a uh, digital, uh, not digital, a, um, not for his holiday, for his birthday, he got um, a Polaroid camera. And this will be perfect for like a mini little Polaroid camera. So I'm just adding some tape right here and I'm going to actually go ahead and grab my string and put it around here now before I tie this down. So I'm gonna cut it. Cause you're gonna wanna like stick it on there before you close it. And of course you don't have to do the string part. It's just an option so that it's tied on there. And you can definitely tape it more. I just did it kind of thin, but I think I'm gonna add some more tape. It's 
So that already makes like the little album come to life, I feel like, because I don't know. It's just something fun, especially if you're pulling out pictures. Okay, and now this spot right here, um, just for the little book, we're just gonna take a four by six paper and you're gonna either fold it directly in half or score at the three inch mark at the six inch score. I'm just gonna go ahead and fold mine right now. Okay, and that's gonna go on this side right here. And then we're gonna also do our little vellum. So I'm gonna put this on and let's do our little vellum pocket. And I'll show you how I did that fun little pocket too. <clears throat> I'm trying to do this a little quick so that you can see just how quick it is to actually do this album. So our little vellum pockets are gonna be six by eight and a half inches. If you don't have vellum, then just use a regular piece of scrapbook paper. That's fine too, okay? So we're gonna start at the eight and a half inch mark. Okay, and we're just gonna score it at like four and eight inches. So four and eight. You gotta do it four, eight. It doesn't even matter, it could be this way or this way, but um, let me go ahead and fold that down. Okay, and I'm just gonna fold this. And now you have the option to, at the six inch score, you can score this at three inches, or you can just, when you do this, you could just fold it in half too. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the score so it's not wonky. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. And go really light on the glue because this will show up on the vellum or use tape. It probably will look a lot cleaner. So you're gonna have those little like holes right here. And then you're literally just gonna fold it in half. I say go with the side that folds the easiest. <laughs> okay. And that off. So what I did was I actually put mine inside. You can put it over if you want it to show like that, cause that's pretty too. Um, or you can put it inside. I'm gonna put, I mean, or you can flip it this way. I'm putting it this way because I have that vellum pocket. So now you're gonna go ahead and make your little holes. And I'm trying to figure out the easiest way to do this. So technically, before you add all this on, you could just make the hole all together here and just like punch it like that. But I kind of already put mine on, so let me see here. You can line it like this, so you just kind of line this up. So maybe I shouldn't have put that on first, but I'm gonna go ahead and punch it just on the end. You can use like a clip so you don't, you know, get wonky on it. And then I'm gonna do this side. And you're just doing like right in between, you know, where that little score is, just so you can see that. And now we're just gonna go ahead and tie it. So your pages are all in. So it's really easy. I know that like binding things seem so intimidating, but it's actually not. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a string through. So I want my string to be inside because I don't want it to hang on the back here. Definitely use a clip if you can, because you have to line all this up. Hold on, I lost my hole. Well, let me string this through real quick, and then I'll string that one through. Okay, so too easy, two holes and string. And now I'm just gonna tie this up. 
just like, you know, a junk journal. So it's kind of like a mini junk journal, I guess. And I'm just tying this in a knot and I'm gonna trim it down. You could even, this thing, this string's actually thick, um, but I like this string color. I would like to get a little bit thinner one. All right, so, I'm gonna put this here. We've got all this. So you're gonna have that. And then literally your little booklet and your pages. And then in the front here, I wanna show you. So what I did was I took a piece of vellum that was like two and a half by six inches, okay? You don't want anything longer than six inches because when you run it through your dye machine, which I did, I'll link where, I think I got this on Amazon, I have to look. Um, these dyes, so like these swirly type dyes, you can get them like all over the internet, but mine's just off Amazon. And wait, is this the right one? No, it's not, that's a scrap one. Um, but you can see it has, what I liked about it is it has the stitching right here. So when you run it through your die, I want to show this because you don't, unless you have one of those new fancy like Sizzix or whatever, or Gemini's, it more than six in inches is not going to fit. So, sorry, I cannot talk today. Um, what you'll do is basically, here, let me use it on the side, is you'll take it on your die machine and you'll like tape it right here and then run it through. And then you can have this little pocket. So this one I purposely did up and this one is down. So you can see the difference or like you can use a different wave. So that's all I did there. That's how I got that pocket, but I thought it came out so like pretty and I feel like this would be so pretty on pockets. Um, so yeah, I wanted to share that. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put this down right here. And like I said, you can add a little tape there, whatever. And I added a clip from this collection. So I am totally obsessed with this collection. So I'm just gonna add that there. And I'm gonna also show you inside these little pockets, what I had done is I just made a little like, um, like a little card. You could put like a little card in there or tags. And then I wanna show you, I also used the same die for like a little card. So most people use this type of thing for card making. So I made this little card here and you can see I put the wave going down. So I'm just gonna add that in here. And it's just so pretty and fast. Like you see, we did this in literally 10 minutes. And then that little piece right there, I had shown before, but I got these at Hobby Lobby and they are, you know, you could do the wax seal a real one, but mine have came out absolutely horrible. <laughs> I just wish they would come out good. I, I see people do it all the time. I don't think I have the patience. So it is a sticker. It's just like a little puffy sticker. It looks like a wax seal. And you just pop that bad boy on and so simple but quick album really easy you can use single-sided paper you can use double but I just thought it was pretty it's almost like a like a whimsical little junk journal or something okay guys thank you so much um I hope to talk to you soon by the way on my Instagram I had mentioned that I wanted to do a live um I feel like a little craft with me type thing would be fun. I'm just like really in the mood to do something together instead of, you know, the, the tutorials, always tutorial. I think it would be fun. So maybe I'm gonna do it this weekend. I'll put a little announcement, but I wanted to know your vote. Do you wanna do like a question and answer type thing or do you wanna do like a craft with me type thing? I can do both, um, but just curious to see what you guys want. Um, and I could also craft and answer questions too, but it's just if I'm doing measurements or something, it's kind of hard to do that. All right, guys, thank you so much.